LG recently released their 32-inch 4K 240Hz 32GS 95UE What a Mouthful OLED monitor, which many gamers were interested in due to the 40Hz mode and the great sound included, but to our shock and horror, it unfortunately was also paired with a matte coating, which in my testing severely damaged image quality by not only contributing to raised blacks, thereby reducing contrast, which of course, that's one of the main reasons you would buy an OLED to get better contrast, but it also had an incredibly grainy and oily look to it, especially when moving bright white windows around your screen or playing games in HDR, which was not only very distracting and ugly, but also led to a far less sharp image, making the 4K resolution almost feel wasted on this monitor. And this was not only noticeable in a bright room, but a dark room as well. Regardless of lighting scenarios, it just didn't look good to me. However, the brand new subpixel layout was so good that I was determined to save this monitor as I know if LG would just pair it with a glossy coating and fix their firmware, it could be one of, if not the greatest OLED on the market. So I set to work removing the matte coating in order to prove to LG that using it is a huge mistake and pairing it with a true fully glossy coating like their LG C4 would lead to a huge improvement to image quality and interest from buyers looking for the best monitor on the market. And real quick, before I show you the results, I have to ask you one favor. Please share this video on places like Twitter and Reddit if you agree, and also send it to LG to get their attention, as if we make enough noise, we may finally get the glossy W OLED we've been desiring, and not the grainy, in my opinion, semi-gloss coating that Asus brought out with the XG27 AQDMG, but a true grain-free, clear glossy coating like on their TVs. But with that out of the way, I present to you likely the only 4K glossy 32GS95UE on the market. Now, you're probably wondering how I did this, and I will tell you, but it comes with a disclaimer that I do not recommend doing this, as it will void your warranty, it can destroy your monitor, and it involves using various products which can probably be harmful if mishandled. So please don't do this. But in any case, this is what I did. First, I wet sanded the coating off completely using 1000, 3000, then 5000 grit sandpaper and a dual action polisher. Then I buffed out the screen with Novus 3 and two heavy and light plastic scratch remover. And finally, I applied a layer of 3M plastic wipe headlight restore. Now, in hindsight, simply carefully applying headlight restore wipes over the top of a matte coating might have just worked on its own and would be far easier and cheaper, but I still don't even recommend doing that as it's easy to accidentally leave streaking and you have to do it right and quick or you will mess it up and have to completely remove it after letting it dry for 24 hours. Not to mention this sort of stuff is likely not great to touch or inhale and requires using gas masks, gloves, and a well-ventilated area. So again, please don't do this and I will not be held responsible if you try and modify your monitors in any way. Seriously, just wait and buy glossy monitors. This is not a guide. I just don't want a thousand people asking me questions because they do anytime I talk about if I do this. But in any case, after doing all that, thankfully the results while not perfect, looked really, really good. Not only does it have the benefits of presenting a crystal clear image, but as you can see side by side next to QD OLED, it doesn't have the issue of lighting up magenta or gray. This means you get the better clarity, contrast, and color of a glossy coating without the horrible light handling issues Quantum.OLED has leading to a better, higher contrast and more clear image in almost all lighting situations. This is why I'm so frustrated with LG's decision to absolutely mangle their OLED monitors with a matte coating. It could be so good, so clear, so vibrant, but they'd rather take a fat dump on their monitors. I mean, let's be honest, let's put the marketing and affiliate links aside 
LG's OLED monitors to my eyes look absolutely horrible and it just doesn't have to be this way. Why LG continues to set rakes in front of themselves and step on them is beyond me. And I want anyone from LG who might be watching to know that there is a huge demand for your monitors with glossy coatings like your TVs and higher brightness to allow for better and more clear HDR images. I can tell you right now, looking at these two glossy coatings, side by side, QD OLED versus W OLED, that the W OLED is far superior. And if LG produced this and fixed their firmware, they would hands down win. It would be a no brainer pick to grab an LG over Samsung panel, despite the inferior HDR color volume. So please, for the love of everything that is sacred, produce some versions of your OLEDs with true glossy coatings to allow enthusiasts to get the best picture possible. Because right now, I just simply can't recommend the 32GS 95UE with a matte coating. Though do be sure to get subscribed as I will be covering their latest firmware update soon to see if it has finally addressed all the issues I found in my review. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.